Hey! Ah. Crap! The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected! Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, are costumes okay? I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer! You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? You really are something. Now that's our sensei! He's got big brass balls! And when I say balls, I mean... <laughs> we get it, we get it. It's a figure of speech. We don't care. Shut up! Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Risei John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now who's ready? We are! Fired up and ready to go! Now listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Here goes! Yeah! They're asking for an encore! Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. Ready? Ha! Yeah! Crowd surf! The 
This is the best part of being a live performer! Stupid Teddy! We can't play without him! Hey! Hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! Stage dive? Hey! Don't sound so excited! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it! Uh, all right! I'll show you what it means to be a man! Hey, wait, you idiot! They just dodged out of the way. How? I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. You're back.
Monica-chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. <sighs> Jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um... I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless! <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto cool riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it! I quit! This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams! It's time for my animal crackers. Ooh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin! Hands off the penguin! It's mine! Ugh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library. But I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa. Isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too. And we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Am I really a king? Uh, then what am I? A prince? 
I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. doing? Of course. Oh, I hate this. Hello. Hmm. 
Senpai. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. I'll see you again. Senpai.
先輩
Nice work. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. I'll see you again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yes.
Welcome back. Finally over. Hey, about question eight. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. See you later. So...
先輩。Later. I'm home. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. From a friend? Oh, my show is almost done! I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. Don't rescue any more. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. He will ask why you received such a letter 
And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Mind if I change the subject then? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. Oh, she just had to say something.